Welcome to Summer with the Library. My name is Chandra. I'm a community librarian with Deschutes Public Library. And today we are going to be making pebble art. No matter where you live, if you take a walk outside, you'll be able to find some pebbles, rocks, stones, leaves, twigs, all kinds of different things that we can use to make some pretty awesome art. Are you ready to get creative? Let's get going. Now we're all ready to make our pebble art. If you Google pebble art, you'll see all different kinds of examples. There are things that, like this giraffe, just use these little tiny itty bitty pebbles. Like this one here, you can also use pen with your pebbles and your rocks to create a scene. This is a great one of this hiker using a wide variety of textures and sizes and shapes to create what you're wanting to make. So I highly encourage you to Google pebble art if you need some inspiration. Now today we are going to make some birds sitting on a branch. So here's what you need. You of course need a piece of paper or cardstock. Uh, watercolor paper also works well. You of course need a variety of different rocks. You will need an eraser, a pencil, a fine tip sharpie if you're going to be doing any drawing, and of course you also need some good quality adhesive. Today I will be using a hot glue gun. If you do not have access to a hot glue gun, you will need a good quality glue, not a glue stick. A glue stick will not work for this. So what you'll do is go out, take a walk, and look at all the different rocks that you see. Gather the ones that you like the best, wash them off. You want to make sure that they don't have any dirt on them or else they will not adhere correctly. And then choose the ones that you want to use. Today, I'm going to be making some birds sitting on a branch. And then I'm also going to add some cats watching. So first, what we want to do is we want to just lay it out. How is it, how's it going to look? I chose these little ones here as my birds. So I'm going to place them and just kind of lay, lay everything out. Maybe I think I want this bird to be up here and then down here at the bottom, I'm going to place my cats. All right, that looks like pretty good placement. Now, what do we do? I'm going to take my pencil and where my birds are going to be to turn these little rocks into birds, I'm going to pencil in a beak and some legs. So let's put that bird there. This bird here, let's put a little beak on him and also a leg. And then this one, you know, I'm going to put him, hmm, where do I want him? Yeah, I think, I think right there. So again, beak and some legs. So those are my birds up in the sky, I've penciled in the marks. Now down here for my cats. Now what will make this look like a cat? Well, I think for sure we need some ears. some ears and then I think they might also need, need some whiskers to tell us that that's a cat. We're just going to pencil rough these in and then we'll show you where we'll go from there. I think they also need a tail. So there's one tail for my kitty and let's put this tail on this side. I'm going to hold 
my rock with my one finger to make sure that it doesn't move and pencil it in. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is we want to take our glue and we're going to glue down the sticks so that we know we have a base to work on. So I'm going to place that right there. Oh, I think I may have used a little bit too much glue. So this is where you learn from your mistakes. You wanted to use enough glue that it's going to adhere these heavier objects to the paper, but not use so much that it's going to bubble out and disrupt the image that you're trying to create. Okay, let's get some glue on there. And let's make sure that he's sitting right where he's supposed to. I want to make sure that you don't break your twig as you press it down, which I did when I was practicing. Um, practicing making these. I, I, I broke definitely a, a couple of things that I didn't intend to. Okay. I think those are pretty solid. So now let's take this pebbles, move them to the side, because then with your Sharpie, you're actually going to draw in your marks. So I'm going to make little ears here and some cute little whiskers. And I'm going to see my pencil drawing of this tail was not very good. So when we're using our pen, I want to make sure that it looks like we actually want it to look. I'm going to shade these ones in because he's a, he's going to have dark ears. And our tail. And our whiskers on that side. So now when I glue my kittens back, all of a sudden, they become cats. Now let's look at our birds up in the sky. So, we are going to look. Here's my beak. So we use our pen to create a little bit more definition. I'm going to put some toes on these legs. I've got my, my beak and there's my second bird. Let's finish up this third bird. And I'm going to come it down from the top. There we go. So now we have it all roughed in. And all we need to do is give a good amount of glue on it. You don't want to use too much, but pebbles are not light. You want to make sure that you're using enough that it's actually going to hold it in place. There's one kitten. And ouch. When you get hot glue gun glue on your fingers, it's hot. There we go. <gasps> Look at our cats. Okay. Now let's do our birds. I'll double check. How did I have them? There we go. Is that right? Is that how I had this one? Was he the other way around? Ooh, yes, I think he... Hmm. I think he was like that. Okay. See, sometimes when you're moving things around, you move it and it's not quite the way you originally had it. Okay, I need to add more. Almost done. 
got our second bird. Once the glue has all dried, you can pull off some of the little bits that you're getting on the paper. Let's get this last one. The pebbles work best if they are flat on one side. I have done ones where they're not, they're really much more round. They will work, um, but they don't work quite as well as, as if they have one flat surface. So, oh, all right. So I did make one mistake. I forgot to use my eraser before I glued everything down to erase underneath. You can't really see them if you're looking at it from far away. I don't know that you'd really see the um, pencil marks that I made, but if you're watching this, <laughs> use the eraser before you glue everything down and just erase those marks. And there you go. We have our birds on a branch and our cats watching the birds. Once you've learned how to do this, Google Pebble Art and you will find tons of different examples, including things like, let me show you some of my two favorites once you've really gotten accomplished at this, you can create things like, look at this adorable lion with a bird, or you can even paint and get very fancy. And there we go. Our birds on a branch pebble art.